On this week's boiler tip, we're going to talk about vacuum breakers. Vacuum breakers have a really important job because when we shut a piece of equipment down, a heat exchanger or a boiler, we don't want a vacuum to form on that exchanger. Um, one reason is on a process heat exchanger that we can't drain condensate um, if we've got a vacuum on it. So a vacuum breaker is essentially just a check valve that allows air to infiltrate uh, on the formation of vacuum. And the key to that is that we don't want it to leak when we're actually having steam on the piece of equipment. And sometimes we'll find that that happens because we've got pressure on it, steam exposed to the seats, that type thing. So to prevent the steam actually getting to the check valve and to give you a little bit better seal, you can actually pipe a little siphon loop in the route to the vacuum breaker. And what that will mean is when we start up, that's going to trap some air in it and it's going to fill with condensate. So we're much less likely to have rapid deterioration of that vacuum breaker check valve. In addition to that, we probably want to look and make sure that we've got uh, steam rated seals on that check valve. So um, maybe if we've got an O-ring style or something that's got black rubber in there, um, it's not going to hold up very well, but a good Teflon seated valve uh, should last for a good number of years and adding just a little siphon loop before it will pr actually protect that valve as well.